back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then what threat is, and this mystery explore, tis the wind and nothing more. I certainly do love this poem. Shall I continue, Elizabeth? Excellent. This is where it gets interesting. Open here I flung a shutter, when with many a flirt and flutter, and there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obscience made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine or law or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sat, nothing more. Oh, this poem is amazing. I wonder what happened to the man. A few more paragraphs left. <sighs> prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet steal, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above, us by God, both door, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden, shall clasp a sainted maiden, whom the angels named Elizabeth. can't be right. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Elizabeth. Quoth the raven nevermore. Enough with the stupid pranks already, kids. I mean it. I've had enough. Can't they understand? I just want to finish my poem. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fine. I shrieked, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy break from out my heart and take thy form from out my door. Still sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door, and his eyes have all the seeming of that demon's dreaming. Through the lamplight, I am streaming through the shadows on the floor, and my soul from out the shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted evermore.
Господи.